Hey, what's up, Internet? My name is Connor, and this is Bottom Shelf Bar, the show where we try liquor from the bottom shelf of our local store and tell you if any of it is worth drinking. I'm joined tonight, as always, by my good friend Paul, who's going to tell us what we're having. This is Black Velvet Toasted Caramel Whiskey, uh, one of my favorite cheap liquors. It's about $12 for this bottle, which I'm pretty sure is about a dollar cheaper than their standard whiskey. Um, so if you like that caramel flavor, it really pays off for you. Yeah, it's only 70 proof, so it's the weakest thing that we've ever had on the show. But I'm optimistic, and Paul seems to think this is going to be the best thing that we've ever tried. Uh, At least on the show. I mean, <laughs> obviously. I really like this stuff. This is my favorite cheap, like, cheap liquor. All right, I think you know what time it is. Let's do shots. We still have them in measuring cups. It's very caramely. It's very caramely. I love this stuff. <clears throat> Honestly, the alcohol hit me a little harder than I was expecting it to. But I think that's because I was expecting it to like not hit me at all. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, that I mean, was decent. I, I don't think I would do this as a shot. But so far, it's okay. It tastes pretty good, honestly. It tastes... It tastes like caramel. You can... I, I mean, you could tell that it's cheap liquor by the shot. Like, you can, that fat alcohol taste is there. But it also tastes like caramel. Yeah. Just very sweet caramel, which I, I like a lot. Caramel is one of my favorite flavors. Yeah, the caramel taste is definitely essential because the burn is still, despite this only being 70 proof, pretty potent. Yeah. It's not the worst burn that I've ever, you know, it's not the worst burn that I've ever felt. But my chest sure is warm. It's nice and warm. We've got a new game for you guys. Yeah, we're going to stack some dice on rulers. We'll get that ready. <laughs> and it'll be more funny than it sounds. <laughs> All right, so our challenge for this episode is we have these rulers, and we each have three dice. And we're going to put the rulers in our mouths, and then we're going to try to stack the dice on the rulers. <laughs> and whoever can do it faster is the winner. So are you ready? I am. All right, three, two, one, stack. <laughs> this is a fun game <laughs> all right we'll see you in a second with our next drink this is a whiskey apple cider it's got one part whiskey to four parts apple cider and i am extremely optimistic about this we're calling it the caramel apple and i think it's gonna be real good cheers Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> oh yeah. It, oh man. I took a sip and I was like, okay, this is all right. And then it got way better immediately. That caramel doesn't hit right away and I'm not mad about it either. It's like the inverse of an actual caramel apple. Mm-hmm. Nice job just spilling on the yeah, table. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this is pretty nice. Oh man, this is this is really good. It'll be this will be a seasonal drink. But it's November when we're recording this, and I am feeling this drink. It is great. This, uh, look, okay, other than maybe the mojito in the Cruise on Rum episode, this is the best drink we've had. This is so good. If you look for it, there is a little hint of that cheap alcohol flavor, but like you gotta be looking for it. You, really, is, you really have to like go out of your way to try to taste this it. This tastes close to a caramel apple um the flavors don't really come at you in the correct order for a caramel apple but it has the taste of a caramel apple and it's it's just real nice it's just real good this is how i'm drinking the rest of this when we're done this is so good <laughs> i have never i haven't had it like this before i just assumed it would be good and i'm so right yeah it's great I mean, that's all there is to say here. It, it was guaranteed. It was virtually guaranteed to work. We, it's apple and caramel. This is oh my god. That's <laughs> we so liked good. this straight, and then we put some apple cider in it, and we were like, "Whoa, it's great!" <laughs> yeah, duh, it's great. Uh, oh man, <laughs> we're we're gonna stack some dice on a ruler. <laughs> all right, we got our rulers back out again. We got some dice. We're gonna stack them. Maybe I'll be better this time. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, three, two, one, dice.
<laughs> I was like, I win, but then it immediately fell down. So I guess Paul wins again. He I'm wins. not sure who would actually win based on just completion, because if you were pretty I'm close. You decide. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know in the comments. <laughs> sure. Uh, we're going to try this in a whiskey old fashioned and cut to that. <laughs> Dude, that was good! This is a caramel whiskey old fashioned. It's got about an ounce and a half of caramel whiskey, three dashes of bitters, about a quarter ounce of simple syrup, and of course, a twist of orange. As it should. That's all split in half, of course. Let's try it. I do not know how I feel about that. <coughs> the orange doesn't really play very nicely with the caramel. I mean, I wouldn't expect it to, to be honest. I'm not a, I'm not against the flavor combination. As an old fashioned, this works. It's okay. Uh, I could do without the caramel, to be honest. But yeah. you know, it's still okay. You know, it's. It's definitely an old fashioned. Uh, it's very drinkable. Maybe a squeeze of uh, apple instead of orange. I do think that apple, like we just saw with the, the caramel apple drink that we made, apple plays very nicely with this caramel whiskey. Orange, not so much. But this is still all right, which is honestly a little bit surprising. It's also worth noting that neither of us have ever had bitters in anything before. This is a first. That's true. I bought these Angostura aromatic bitters literally today, and I have not tried them in anything. But, shoot, this is all right. I'm not against it. The caramel brings a lot of more sweetness to this than I would expect, um, which from the only other old fashioned I have would normally come from like a cherry. Yeah. Um, or just like an old fashioned mix if you're, you know. If you're into that yeah um all said and done honestly this might taste better without the caramel maybe you would you'd formulate it a little bit differently maybe even honestly more bitters um maybe more simple syrup i don't know i feel like it could be reformulated a little bit but i'm yeah. not mad about it it was like i would drink this which is yeah more than can be said for a lot of drinks we've had <laughs> this is okay it definitely it doesn't need the caramel at all this this did not improve the whiskey at all it didn't hurt. It took the edge off a little bit, but flavor-wise, I didn't love it. I think the bitters complemented it. Yeah, the bitters surprisingly work very well. But overall, it's an okay drink. Uh, let's get some rulers out and play a game. All right, we got our rulers back. We've just decided that whoever wins overall the ruler, ruler. is the ruler ruler. So that being said, <laughs> let's put some dice on our rulers. <laughs> Three two, one, go. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Paul wins again. His dice skills are impeccable. It's all the D&D. &D. That could have something to do with it. <laughs> We're going to clean all this up and make the last call for this week. It'll have a lot of fun stuff in it. <laughs> Let's find out how it tastes. Probably not good. This is the last call. It is our every other episode tradition where we take every ingredient from the recording session. So this time it has the Tavarsky vodka, the black velvet caramel whiskey that's right here. It also has ginger beer, orange juice, lemon juice, apple cider, simple syrup, Angostura, aromatic bitters, orange peel, and finally, lime juice all combined into one delicious looking drink as per the rules we will try to chug it it hopefully will be pretty easy this time and then we'll let you know what we think of it <laughs> look man i'm telling you there's a pocket chance that this is really good the last time that we did the last call it was okay so i'm cautiously optimistic there's only one way to find out Honestly, that ain't bad at all. 
It's not bad, but honestly, the ginger and the caramel flavors are a little too much. The caramel disappears more than the ginger does, but honestly, I think the ginger is the the biggest hindrance to this being good. Honest, I think if you replaced... Honestly, maybe... I think if you replaced ginger beer with, like, ginger ale in that, this would make a good, like, Christmas citrus punch. That was actually... I, I would go out of my way to drink that again. That was very good. Yeah, it's very close to being pretty good. As it is, it's okay. Also, the vodka, gone, which is ideal. Yeah, the vodka, I think, proof of concept, disappears. The whiskey also blended in fairly well. You can tell... You, there's a toasty flavor. You can tell that there's a little toasty flavor there. It's, it's present. It plays so well with the bitters. It does go very nicely with the bitters. So I think overall, for the Black Velvet caramel whiskey i think we're feeling pretty good about this one right oh four and a half out of five that's pretty optimistic i like that stuff a lot i've been feeling i've been feeling a four out of five this is this is not the favorite liquor that i've ever had but many of my favorite liquors are like twice the price of this so for 12 to 13 bucks it's hard to fault the black velvet caramel whiskey yeah, I mean, I, you know, I said it's not my favorite shot, but I've also drank a fair amount of this just out of the bottle. I never had any problems with it then. It's it's very drinkable. It's very smooth, for, and for $12 it, for a whiskey, like, the cheapest whiskey I've ever seen was, I think, maybe $9. Oh. So... <laughs> I know of a cheaper one. Stay tuned for a future episode. Oh. Stay tuned for a future episode. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> but, but. Wow. Jinx. <laughs> I'll give it a, even out of 4.25 out of 5. Sure. We'll go with that. Highly recommend this. Seriously. Yeah. Like, for the price, this is great. It's absolutely recommend. If you still got a bunch of apple cider left from the fall incredible way to use it up it is the apple cider with caramel whiskey the caramel apple cider is that what we're calling it yeah highly recommend make it make it at home that's this is the first time that i think we can truly say go do that it's well and mojitos of course well yeah <laughs> but just in general that's great let's put some dice on rulers dice on rulers Fuck. Let's just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Go. Got it. What? what? How? <laughs> <laughs> How do you do that? <laughs> That's ridiculous. His dice skills are unfair. It's the Dungeons and Dragons. I played a rogue. You gotta roll lots of sixes. I guess so. <laughs> Thanks for watching episode 6 of Bottom Shelf Bar. This has been the Black Velvet Caramel Whiskey. Overall, we give it a 4.25 out of 5. It's pretty good, and you can make some very delicious drinks with it. We highly recommend. My name's Connor. This is Paul. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have any feedback or suggestions for future drinks. That's going to do it for me. One last suggestion. I've done this before. 10 out of 10. This and hot cocoa. Incredible. Have next. a great night. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs>